Hey everyone, welcome to Our Secrets by Ice Lighting. So I've been away for a couple of days, but unfortunately we are nowhere further with the fell cycle. So I thought I'd at least do an update on what we're doing and what we're looking at. So this is where we are currently stuck at. We're technically working on 9, 10, 11 and 12 of what we're referring as the clock. So things that people keep mentioning in my um, videos that they think might be something, this brazier at the top of the stairs, the ghostly brazier, it is not a new thing. It is, even though you get a magnifying glass, it's not actually anything useful at this point. So what this did or does, if you're still stuck at it, is back in the timeless aisle when you click um, on the Zachary all together, if you have accidentally opened a chest, therefore are locked out for a day, that resets it. So you can go and do the pet battle. So yes, it's useful, but not for carrying on. The other thing people keep mentioning is this North Sea Thug. Now, um, oh yes, you can loot it, yes, you get nursing weight here, but this was actually used to open one of the slot machines. If you took the coordinates from this to the slot machine um, by the vault, it gave you the coordinates which were the code we needed to put in for it, so it's not actually a thing either. So on to some of the things we are playing with. If you make it to this room here, there is a ghost trap. When you click on it, you get a whispering version of yourself that asks you what you are. Now, this shadow um, will follow you around until you pass under the alarm sensor in the hallway. So you can see it's still following me here, but as soon as you get to this alarm sensor here, it will go no further. So um, people have used warlock gates and stuff to get it out of there, but if you do that, it still doesn't do anything. So we're missing something there. There's a reason it's not leaving upstairs. So another thing we're looking at is the mystery of the pebbles. So if you come into the arcane room here using um, your crystal channeling thing, there is a rat's journal. So if you flick through the pages, and it might take several attempts to get the right page, but you'll eventually find one that says, I found six pedal pebbles so far, and your juice the next one is somewhere in the South Seas of Nazimir. So, pebbles. I'm going to go through all the ones that have been found and where they are. So we're talking about halfway down the stairs at the entrance right here behind this lamp or light or candles or whatever you want to call it. You can rub these pe pebbles, I can't say it, um, but it does nothing. So what are they for? So that's number one. If you go behind this archway here, this is where you'll find number two. And I'm going to show you where all of they are. They are in slow motion so that you can see them easier rather than me just keep giving you map references. So make your way all the way down the stairs and then over to the Watcher statue over here. And you will find the third one um, just in between behind the skeleton here so that is number three so then if you make your way over to the gate where the cats are this one's a little trickier to uh, grab hold of and to see so you've got to kind of stand right next to it um, and try and angle your screen and you will be able to uh, click on the pebble there so that's number four so then if you make your way over into um, this area where the flame thing tries to kill you, um, go through the door and then stay to the right um, and you will see right behind this sort of uh, watcher statue or guardian statue, whatever it was called, and behind the um, magic ball, there is the other one there. So if you then keep going, um, avoid the flame thing that's going to try and kill you, go into this room, which we refer to as the nature room, watch out for the proximity bombs that just like to explode. Um, and on the shelf up here um, is where you will find another one. So you can give that one a click. Again, does nothing, but at least I'm showing you where they are. And then if you make your way all the way back and up the stairs towards the fell cycle room, but not in the fell cycle room, you'll want to go to the right um, where you will find the skeletons and the big scrap pile. Um, and in one of the skeleton's hands, you will find the next pebble. So that is all the pebbles that we've located inside the instance. So what are we doing with them? Well, there are some theories. So firstly, one of the theories 
is that since he says he's only found six of them so far, that one of them is something we don't click. But how do we tell which one is the one that we don't click? So that's kind of a bit of a hmm. The next theory is that he mentions the South Seas of uh, Nazimir. So Nazimir is obviously BFA, um, but there aren't really South Seas of it, unless it's referring to the sea above, which is the North Sea, but perhaps it classes as the South Sea if you're seeing it from a larger map. So if you do go larger, we're looking at Broken Isles above. Now, directly between, um, or directly above, is the landmass of Eye of Ashara. The only reason this seems to be a potential clue is because in the vault room, right here on the wall, is this symbol. And where have we seen this symbol before? If you guessed inside the instance of Eye of Ajara, you'd be correct. So, has this got something to do with it? Are we talking the landmass or are we talking the instance? Another hmm. So the next thing we're looking at is the two dots on number 10. Interestingly, if you go into the vault, make your torch connect with that, there's now three dots instead of two. But if you leave the room and go over to look at it, it goes back to two. So what do we need to put in that room in order for that to stay as a three? Totally have no idea. So another thing to try and solve is the plaque above the vault door. So it says to be like me, you'll need to know the missing rhyme, the crystals glow, the stars above, the space below, the time of now for long ago. My secret notes you'll never see unless you learn to work as three and then some random letters. So we've been putting this through lots of things and checking it in other languages to see if we can work out what it is. Something that's come up is a rhyme that Rats wrote on page 79 that you'll find in the Instagram. Now this could or could not be the missing rhyme, but one of the things it mentions is play and unsolvable. So of course that brings us over to the game in the Arcane Crystal Room. So someone's come up with a theory that it has something to do with different symbols that don't relate to consoles. Now, why are consoles important? Well... If you have been curious enough to return to Rat's Lair back in Spiderland and put your goggles on, guess what happens? Oh yes, there is a hidden platform and you can use your crystal moving devicey thing and once you get up here, we have another console to solve. So, we're trying to work out the code for that. Is it related to this? Because this does say the crystals glow, the stars, the space below. So those kind of match up. But, is that rhyme correct? Is it something to do with that puzzle? No idea, we're currently stuck on it. So another thing we're looking at is again in that vault, there is a rat's journal, the final chapter. Now, it mentions dusty catacombs, paladins, mages, and rogues. Now, interestingly enough, if you make your way to Scholomance, which is dusty catacombs, in the Lillian Voss room, so I'm talking about the old version, the Pandaria version, not the old, old version that you use the uh, book to get into, um, you will find in the L Lillian Voss room, three heads, which could be a paladin, a mage, and a rogue. If that is the case, is that some sort of cipher? I don't know. Could be nothing. So of course, that's just some of the things that we are looking into. Obviously, there's gonna be a lot of red herrings in here. We have been told by the Blizz devs that two people have actually finished this puzzle. Whoever they are, congratulations. It's taking a whole lot of us to get nowhere right now. Um, as always, thanks for watching. Hope you found this video useful and subscribe to see what else I'm up to.